Let's, you want that on right now? We're streaming that right now. You don't want to start it? You have no viewers. You want to... Why don't you stop it? No, you could play it right off that laptop. That's what goes out. What is it you're trying to do? I don't understand. You are live. Your mic is very low. Test. Oh, there I am. Mine is hot. Are you turned off, Kat? And mine is on. Yeah. You got okay. It. It's always better when it's on. Mics always work better when they're on. <laughs> Isn't that something? That's a thought. It's a thought. So if everybody can hear us, which I, I, you know what, let me get Facebook on because we have not gone live from this theater in so long. So I am going to my page and see if we are in fact on, and we are. So this is really great. And I'm going to be able to see everybody because I did bring my glasses. Um, we have a, Todd's in the back and he's adjusting the cameras because we haven't streamed, hello everybody, happy Friday. We haven't streamed live from this theater in almost a year. It is hard to believe, but true. And so we're happy to be back, and Todd's setting the cameras right now. All the cameras are, are off. And this camera over here is just, um, you want me to, to, and then I can. So you, we're, this is our part of the show where we like to show folks at home how things are done. Uh, oh, yes, he's in charge of that camera, so we're good. So now you can see me from behind, which was a nightmare for me a year ago. Oh, yes. But now we're good, right? We're good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I get my mic out here, and I am settled. Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We're super excited you're here. Ryan is in Pennsylvania. He's manning everything from there. I'm just going to make sure you guys can hear us by looking at the comments. And it says, watching. Hi, Seth. Hi, Cat, Todd, Seth, and Fisher family. Yes, we're all here. Cat's voice goes in and out. Sad face. Hi, Seth. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see if it corrects itself, and then uh, if it doesn't, then I, I can go on another mic. But the equipment in here has not been used in almost a year, so that's why we were having a lot of trouble. My mic is not going in and out. Okay. Well, now it appears that I am in, and that's a good thing. So happy Friday. We're excited. Like I said, Ryan is in Pennsylvania, and he's running the Zoom part of this. Todd is in the back making sure everything is, uh, we're, you know, got, um, that we're on the air and that all the mics are set, and then he's going to be joining us. I'm really excited because I haven't done a show with Todd in almost a year, and I know that, um, this has been a, a task to get this theater back up and running, but I'm happy that we're doing it. And also, uh, while we're waiting for Todd to come, I just want to say that today is a very special day for one of our um, very um, cherished family members here. First of all, hi, darling. Well, hello, hello, darling. <laughs> It's good to see you. Is there a cute man in the room? Uh, there's always a cute man in this room, starting with the one next to me over here and the one that usually is sitting right over there. Exactly. So um, how was your day? Was it good? My day was good, yeah. Well, I went from looking to, like, I work on... What is it? Eighth uh, Avenue. I don't. I don't want to say anything, but you Butch is not an option for you. Oh, it's not. No, you never look Butch. Oh, to I should pick up a hammer. <laughs> That's right. But you did get glammed up pretty fast. Both of us went from zero to well. I I didn't glam up that much, but I did do the five minute makeover on myself. But you, on the other hand, look stunning. <laughs> And here comes the handsome. No, I'm getting this out of the way. I left this in the way. That's right. Oh, my God. How cute is he? I said his his tail feathers look really nice in those pants. I mean, what are you going to Well, it's a family hour show. At least it is on the West Coast. Hey, Ryan, are you here with us? Can you bring yourself in? Ryan. I, I, cause Ryan. I but you, where are you? I can hear you, like, but I can't see you. Are you going to be coming in on Zoom? Your 
Uh, oh, uh, no, I'm not on the monitor, I can't. But, you know, it, it, I can hear you, and that is a really thing. First there of all, where? Look. Oh, I see you. Hey there. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, he is. I love that room. <laughs> I love your room that you're in. That's the basement that he made into the fun room. And whenever I'm in Pennsylvania, it is such a fun room because it, it you, you know, it, do you think you live most of all in that room, Ryan? Uh, not lately, but uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time back here. You can't even really get a full sense of it, but it's just a small little thing. Uh, it really is because it's 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 his it's his um, room where he keeps all the memorabilia and it's just a it's it's a really cool like movie room it's it's a very nest and I miss you I was used to being around you 24 seven for a long time hey look who's here Ryan you know who's here it's Mr Fisher who has arrived I brought you water but is that really true. No. Of course it's not true. Oh, I was going to say, you haven't seen him on they this camera. But they have seen you two together. I'm making a joke. No, it's not my <laughs> No, it really is. We make each other laugh a lot. Okay, so. Uh, this is the shot, just so you cat, so you're aware of what we're doing. Okay. I've created a two shot of the two of you guys. Yeah, but it's, is it here? It's out there, because I don't. Your camera is still on. So here. where's the cam? Oh, okay. Okay, your so that's a two shot, there. but I still have my one and shot, and then you have yours. Have do a three shot. Yeah, I like the three shot. We can always just go to the three shot and the one shots. Those well, are great. I'm just saying that's First of all, everybody's happy to see you. How, how do you know? I haven't seen you. Because before. I have the magic uh, iPhone with me right here, so I can read the comments. Uh, uh, Nikki Luongo says, I can barely hear Ryan. Ron Hibbs says, hello, Papa Todd. You want me to turn, go turn Ryan up? You, um, you know, I think that, and Todd is, and you're too low as well. Well, that's my life story. <laughs> okay, so again, so R Ryan, one of the things that I, I, the reason, you know, usually Todd and I and y you, would we would, the three of us, usually do our show on a Saturday night, right? Check. We do. Yeah. But. Check. Okay, we're going to check Ryan. So um, there's a reason for that we're doing Friday night tonight, right? There is a big reason we're doing it tonight. Okay, he's testing your sound. One, so two. let me let let everybody I make sure there I you go. Good. We're going to see. You. So people are complaining that Ryan's too loud. Ryan, have you ever had that problem before? <laughs> also, just in general, like in, in class. A, the, they the no, you don't have to do that. I've got control. It, it. Seth is, they can't hear Seth. They can't hear Todd. Seth they can only be on his mic. I, I think they can hear me. I, I, I'm just not they are the only can hear me. Cat's mic is the only one working. Hi, Seth. Can't hear Seth. Hi, Gina Cox. Hi, that Gina just entered the room. And, um, oh gosh, we have a lot of folks here. This is great. Hello, and we're going to make, let, let's let Seth speak, and Ryan, and you too, Todd. Then we can make sure I can. Now can anybody hear me, really? But I'm looking for the prince. <laughs> I don't know if there's a hell event. <laughs> now, they're used to, um, like, one room mic, so having all these mics is probably confusing right. everybody. Right, can't hear Seth, Ryan, or Todd. <laughs> so, hmm. Ryan, can you hear me? But he's hooked up in a different way, so I'm just mm. waiting to hear. No? It's on the same feed. Okay, so you're you're hearing us through Facebook, Ryan? No, he's hearing us. No, I'm hearing you through Zoom. But it's the same output. Okay, so because... If you want to turn the overall now level up... I wonder if it's because my mic's a handheld. I could turn it up louder just in general. Okay, so can I get some feedback from the audience because that's the only way we know. It's like it's not worth... Oh, it's working here. Uh, yeah, uh, Ron Hibb says, I hear Seth. Mark, uh, Kathy Gann says, I can hear everyone. And m I'm just a little too loud. And that this is. It's like the first day of school for me. Like it is. It, it's it's like a. Nothing works, and <laughs> you got to dust the cup, cobwebs off a little bit. Well, it's. I'm, <laughs> I'm used to this. It's you and Todd's season premiere. Hey, they Emily. Look who's here, Emily. <laughs> Barn is here, Emily Lar. I just turned the overall level up because the, the person that <laughs> she commented. She says, you can hear just very low. low except for you, so what else is new? 
that's Emily. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to move my mic no, off no, of my no, face no. I, a little. No, 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 no. I'll turn. I just turned it down. You're saying more? No. Okay. Well, anyway, let me get to Ryan. Just want to make sure everybody can hear Ryan. Can everybody hear Ryan? Because the conversation with Hi, Ryan. Everybody. So let me just see. Hi, All right. Yes, can hear everyone. Thank oh, you, good. Catherine Bradley. Thank you, Catherine. All right. So the reason that we are here on a Friday night instead of a Saturday night, because Friday night's usually my solo show where we talk about life, love, and all of that. But tonight is Friday night show with Todd because it is one of our family members' birthday. And he was supposed to be here, and he couldn't be here. And he's really sad about that, and we are too. So it's Frank Ferruccio's birthday. And so I want everybody to send the parts. All right. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't take a breath, so I really ended early. Caught you off guard. So it's happy birthday to Frank Ferruccio Frank. tonight. And we really are sorry you're not here because that was something that we were all looking forward to. And I know nobody was looking forward to it more than Frank. So um, we are going to bring Frank on in a little while. Well, he's there, isn't he? Well, Francis, make yourself known in the he's room. He's here. Everybody send up some hearts for Frank's oh, birthday. Frank. <laughs> Hi, Angel. There he is. All right, here we go. Hi. <laughs> Did you think we forgot about you today? No, not at all. <laughs> well, not we. All. How are you, happy birthday, boy? Thank you very much. Are you, <laughs> that's the okay, answer. Okay, that's the answer. Yes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, you want to know something? I know that you're not feeling your best, and uh, you know, I'm going to get to see you regardless in October because I am going to be coming to Chiller, which is the autograph show in Parsippany, New Jersey, at the end of October. Ryan and I are going to be there, and so I'm going to come in a little early. Um, and see you because I miss you and you were supposed to be here and you can't be so I'm coming to you Francis I'm coming out Yay. yeah so you're looking Very good oh I am I'm coming uh, you look like you've lost some weight there buddy yeah my face I actually I didn't think my face was gonna retract because <laughs> it's so been fat for so long <laughs> But it Actually, I got, a, I got a nice little angle going on. You got a jawline, dude. You have dude. a jawline. You got a jawline. You look good. You do look no good. No more. You don't have to put shadow under your chin anymore. Right. That's <laughs> not the problem. I, um, yeah, I lost like 70 pounds. Who? 70 oh pounds? You got me beat. I got weighed yesterday, and I've lost 34 pounds. 34. You're a skinny little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that. I say In the most loving way. Frank, I receive it. <laughs> the skinny and little part. But I will say this. I mean, I had no idea. You know, I, got a, I don't own a scale. I never get on one. The scale to me is like the monster under the bed. I don't go near it. And I, you know, I'm terrified of it. I haven't been my whole life. But... I got weighed at the doctor because I was getting a physical, and I could not believe it. I mean, I only know because my clothes. Do your clothes fit you, Frank? Because my cl I have no clothes that fit me anymore. I have older clothes that fit perfect, <laughs> and I know that I couldn't get in them. I couldn't even get, like, one leg into certain jeans. So I know I lost, like, a body size. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot, a lot. I <laughs> lost... Uh, Six pant sizes. Oh, wow. That, that's a lot. You know what I notice? I don't know if you notice this, but what I notice, because I, you know, when you, when you look in the mirror, at least when I look in the mirror, I don't see it. When I look at pictures of me, I see it. If I see myself on camera, well, the camera adds 10 pounds, so I see 20. I haven't <laughs> taken any pictures, so, yeah. you know, I haven't, usually when you're fat, like I've been, you shy away from pictures because then you see them and you're like, oh my God. Exactly. I know. You're like, what happened to me? 
But you know, like those pictures, those pictures of the anvil. Yes. When I saw you last, oh my God, I was huge. Well, I was like 300, 326 pounds. But you know what? I, I didn't it. notice that. Well, I didn't. that's only because you were looking at my smile. Yeah. Well, I don't recommend the diet you were on either. Yeah. No, it's not good. <laughs> No, <laughs> I want to. I, I recommend any diet. My gosh. No, I, you've one been on mine, and you lost a lot. Amy Perkins has been on mine, much. and she's lost a lot in in two weeks. So she's really doing great. And you know, it's not easy, well, but you're eating like veg. You're eating like nothing but like sweet potatoes, right? Like oh you're, gosh. Like three, you're eating like three or four different things, like covered in lemon juice. <laughs> Well, for, you know what? First of all, I'm not allowed to have my lemon I'm juice. Over you are. I eat a lot. I eat a lot, and I eat six times a day. And I'm actually so used to it now that it's but no it's big deal. It's not like food that like people from Jersey would call food. I'll give you that. Just look at Chris Christie, your former governor. Yeah, no, oh, seriously. Oh, <laughs> I could, probably could have traded pants with the man. You know? <laughs> In the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Because you know we, we're in the, we're in the land of pizza and bagels here. And you have oh. very fine pizza there. That's something that I haven't really found here. Only really one place that's halfway decent. Not good East Coast no. pizza. No, but well, I you know I'm I just miss pizza so much. I would think any pizza would be yeah, I, amazing. Yeah, I would be lost. Yeah. Even no. if I only have a bite or two. But when you no. get here, we'll find something that will keep you happy. Yeah, I'm because sure. you're not getting out of this, Frank. No, I'll you're... Be, no. I'll be, I will be just mesmerized in the archive room. You will not have to feed me. No, we'll bring food to the <laughs> to archive. It, food will be I delivered will, to I the archive room. Brand. We're going to take food and have it sent into the archive room for you with some napkins and some, some uh, Lysol wipes so you could keep your hands clean. I could get like a, uh, an IV. Do you want... How about I bring a cot in there? We'll maybe we'll just put a cot in there and you, just, you could stay in there. Uh, you at, always want to sleep with Debbie, right? Yep. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Karen Rosenberg says, yes, we have the best pizza and bagels. New Jersey is the best. You know what? If I had stayed on the East Coast, that's where I would have moved to New Jersey, I think, because that's where my family was from, and I, don't, I wouldn't have stayed in the city. But I love New Jersey. I, I love it. And You're saying that because you haven't lived here in 30-plus years. No, I, I left New York, what is it, about mm, 12 years ago? But you loved New York when you left. Ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But you loved it when you left. Now it's kind of rough over there. Yeah, I, I New York, did. New York and New Jersey are two different cultures. Even though people compare them so closely, they really aren't. No, I Jersey, know. Jersey, Jersey is, is really, it's a, it should be its own country. Because it's not like a state, it's like a being, you know. I do know, but I love my Jersey people. It's so funny because <laughs> in Jersey, everybody just stops by your house without calling, right? That is, yeah, that's a big thing. I mean, if people, if if people do that house, here, I know, that. oh my God. When, when, when people do that here, I'm like, you have to call first. <laughs> you have to call first. And, it's, and all my Jersey friends are like, no, we don't call first. We just show up at the door. And also in my Arkansas, friend, they do yeah. that. And, and my friend Emily, she's here tonight, Emily Lard. She, I used to stay at her house all the time, and it was like a revolving door. And people would just come in and out, in and out. And then little did I know that the fate of living with Todd Fisher would be exactly the same because we have a revolving door here. I as have well. no. I don't invite anybody over, no, so they're yeah, all the your people guests. People just show up all the well, time. I, I invited myself. No, no, no. You. We had talked about this for years, so right. you know you, that wasn't exactly a surprise. Once, once the time came, I was just like, "I'm coming." I didn't really ask. I just kind of said. No, because you're. You know, you've got you got the standing invite, and and besides, we need your help badly. Seth is struggling in there, you know, I, last time, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I went in there the other day, and all I could see is his hands coming up a pile of pictures, no body. Oh yeah. <laughs> in a landslide of pictures, uh, 
like this cabinet fell over on him and he was buried in still uh, pictures. It took us 20 minutes to get him out. I, <laughs> yeah, now I, I Seth, my mother used to I say, never probably, let the truth get in the way of a good story. Good story. I, <laughs> I probably would have died because I would have had to have looked at each and every photo. Before. Before, before finding me. Yeah. Well, it was just a pile of photos and then eyelashes on top sitting there. That's how they found me. That's how they knew how to get to me. Follow the lashes. <laughs> exactly. By the way, it is Frank's birthday today, but on Monday it is... My birthday. It's it, Seth's oh, birthday. Seth's oh, birthday. it's Seth's birthday? Yeah, on Monday. And he's going to be 85. No. What, <laughs> and looking good. And what is, uh, what is the plan for that birthday? Not that we can possibly outdo this one. I, I don't know. With, with, I said we should go out to dinner at least somewhere really good and, you know, have a good night. Then it would be really well, What is your favorite restaurant? Well, he doesn't have one yet. Well, do I'm, uh, what is my favorite restaurant here? I've liked... Well, you know what we were talking about the other day is Piero's that I was saying I oh, wanted to try. That was, I knew it was your mom's that favorite. Was Debbie's Frank, favorite. Frank, you got to get here for that. Can you make it? Italian. It's a quick run. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's that was my mother's favorite restaurant, uh, right? One like you know, hundred yards from the hotel, and we would go there a lot. And, and when and she was really cool with me because I'd forget, you know, me with food, I forget to to do anything. So she, she would order Piero's and have it sent to me in various places in the hotel, <laughs> wherever I was, you know, like after the show. Who knows where I'd be and what time it was, you know, so the food would arrive from Piero's. So that was, what a welcome thing that was. See, now, it's, uh, the reason why that happened, though, is because my mother had no skills for cooking, but she had the skill to make the money to buy the good food and have it delivered. So I ask you, which is better. Now, so I was super smart. And I married Kat, who's a fantastic cook, and she finds me and brings me food, but she makes it all. Yep. That's the difference. Now, Maxine Moody That's just, awesome. Maxine just said, but, but Kat, you can't eat there because you're on a special diet. But you know what, Maxine, I have now hardwired. I don't eat out much. I don't, I very rarely go out to dinner just because I, I love to cook and I know what I'm eating when I cook. However, I have had new things added to my repertoire of eating. And so if we go to Piero's, I can get crab there. So I can, you can. I can eat crab and shrimp. They also have filet mignon there. And they have filet mignon, which I'm allowed to have. Um, so you can I, have the good food. I can, the really good food. It's like <laughs> exactly. So see, I'll be okay there on Monday They night. They have some other specials. But, you know, they're right up there with uh, Joe's stone crab. When it, oh, comes, oh, I know. when it comes to stone crab, they have oh, the no, same, uh, they, same, they have the same source. Yeah. They have uh, the same source. Okay, so I saw that. Kyle sent you the most beautiful birthday video on your Facebook, Frank. I know, I cried. He's so I awesome. Did. Tell everybody who Kyle is. Kyle is an, well, he's most known for being an actor from Days of Our Lives. He was also on Bold and the Beautiful as well. And um, he's done a lot of other TV, movies, and, and movies, um, but we just became friends, uh, like I became friends with you guys uh, over COVID, and um, what an incredible person he is. You know? he, he really you know? is. Now, his last name is, how do you spell? Is, is Louder. Louder, L-O-W-D-E-R. I want you to know yes. that I was communicating with him recently, um, because when you were yeah, gonna no, he's thrilled. He's thrilled. He totally wants. And to I, he's like a, a movie fanatic. And Todd, he is an avid golf pro. Oh my gosh! So. And not only that, he can. He is an, an amazing tenor. He's a great singer. Yeah. And I so, want to talk about what he can't do. Yeah. Let's start with that list. <laughs> well, let me just say that he I just... He can't wear these shoes. No, <laughs> no, he cannot wear big. this outfit. <laughs> I don't know. I bet you if you gave him enough of his Bombay Sapphire martini, <laughs> he might just... Well, anyone can after a good martini. Well, I'm so looking Absolutely. forward to meeting him and, you know, and having him here. And I told him if, when he comes well, that... he mentioned you guys in the message, you know? Yep, he yep, he did. I sure did. But I said, how much fun yeah. we can have here, you know? We'll sing together, we'll do stuff together, we'll just, it'll be really fun. So... And speaking of singing... 
Oh, that's right. So I'm going to say that Seth is going to do a number or two for you, Frank. He's going to do a number on you, Frank. You He's gotta gonna... give a little. No, we're not going to do that. It's a Wait family a show. I must behave. Hold, hold on. I must behave. Can I just tell you? Well, he preps. Oh, there's things, dear. There... There's Spanx. Oh, he has yeah, nylons, yeah. Right. There's Spanx. I learned from the best. I went to the school of Debbie Reynolds. You know, you're, if you're going to look like a showgirl. You did. <laughs> like yeah. me. So, well, here's my one concern. I don't think my mom was ever trying to look like a showgirl. I think more like a star. Yeah, a star. Well, that's, so that, that, to me, that's the showgirl. So, and, and a star, you know, for 99% of my mom's life, always got dressed to the nines. Oh, yeah. I mean, Absolutely. you know, including the proper nylons and everything. And <laughs> that was because that was part of her shtick, you know, was to discuss the leg that was sticking out, you know, and everything else is shot. I mean, that joke <laughs> went for a good 25 you years. You know what? I always said nobody wants to see their neighbor on the stage. So right. get dressed. Even if, you know, I'm at the fair, I try to dress in fringe lace. You know, you, nobody wants to see their neighbor on the stage, so you have to get a little zhuzh going. But if, if Well, Seth, I feel that way about Seth a lot of the people Frank, I see on the street. Can you see the Facebook page, Frank? Uh, yeah. Page. What yeah. are you looking at when you well, see? Now. He sees the room. He sees he the sees cut, this. cut. He sees this. Okay, so what I... Enlarge uh, All right, so I just want you to be able to see and hear Seth, so that's why I'm asking what you're seeing. Yeah, and if... And I it, see Seth right now with you and Todd. And then there's right, a little so closer gonna, shot of him. All right, so what we're going to do... I see, uh, I see you and... Uh, now, can, they, can they hear me? Because I know some people were saying, I don't know if it's because it's this I'm going to go back and run sound yeah, for this. So he's oh, going okay. back, and I'm going to go with him, and I we're going to turn you. these house lights down and give you a little, oh, a a little glamour well, so we'll, everybody we'll, can be we'll entertained. We'll try. I know about that. We want to do this now, or do we yeah. want to explain this and all, all the auction and all that? Oh, we'll do that. At, we'll do that later. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do, we okay. call this a middle so of the show I, number. I, I, yeah. Auction? <laughs> 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 yes. See, I knew that was going to cheer you up, babe. That's right. Hold on. I'm just. Oh, you can hear me, Nicole. Good. I'm going to have a little sip of water before I do this. You can have mine. It's right there. Now, I don't know. I'm turning my mic off. I get this. I have to. I have to pull my Spanx up, Frank. You see, this is how this works in show business. You know. You know what it's like. But if he's going to run around, we're going to have to. <laughs> well, I hope you don't. You don't know what it's like to pull Spanx we'll have to up. Track but, uh, him if he's going to do that. <laughs> then I know everybody. You do? Oh, you shouldn't, darling. Okay, that's all right. Are the people in the room okay? I want to make sure they're okay, too. They are. They um, are? Uh, oh, I have to do my, okay, this. Okay. Okay, so... Um, you uh, have to do your own stopping and starting. Okay. One man show. I love it. Yes. Well, sort of it's one on man. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. This is fun. Oh, so I get to sing to you right here, Frank. I'm looking at you right here. Yeah, but Into my camera? Yes, center camera. Center, center camera. And then okay. We'll, and we'll get closer to you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to run camera once you get started. Perfect. Okay, well, I'm going to take a little sip of water real quick. Oops. And some of you I'm might have heard me do this song before, it was... but it really is one of my favorite songs to ever sing because the first time I sang it, it was about love. And then, you know, you think that's going to last, and then you find out that's bullshit. <clears throat> so... It was very nice. And then <laughs> I learned it's about the people in your life that you love very dearly. And Frank, we all love you. So as a tribute to you tonight, I wanted to sing this little number about you and how I feel and how we all feel about you. So here we go. There are places I remember all my life though some have changed some forever not for better and some have gone and some remain all these places have their moments with lovers and friends i still can't recall some are dead and some are living But in my life I love them all mm. 
But of all these friends and lovers There is no one compares with you And those memories lose their meaning When I think of love as something new Though I know I'll never ever lose affection For people and things that went before I know I'll often stop and think about them But in my life I loved you more Ooh. And I know I'll never ever lose affection for people and things that went before I know I'll often stop and think about them But in my life I loved you more That's for you, darling. How I feel about you. You're trying to make me Oh no, well, it's a good thing to cry. It's it it gets the weight off. It's so Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I just love that song. I love thank you. you. Well, I love my yeah. song. That's a great like this. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I just thought it was the least I could do for you after all you've done for all of us in the room is tell you how we all feel through my my aged and cracked voice. No, oh, I'm just teasing. So great. You have a fresh, young, nubile voice. Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I really receive it. But that's for you, babe. Now, also, thank you. I, do you need... A, are, do, were you going to sing another song? No, I wasn't going to do another song, but... Oh, but I'm going to give you a break. Oh, you're going to give me a break? Because, you wanna, because we're going to do something else. Oh, oh, do I need to go do that right now? Or, I could do it right here. I could. It's not what you think, folks. It's not what you think. No. Oh, no, no, no. Stay on the stage. Okay. Why not? Why right. don't you stay on the stage? But what I'll have you do is I'll put this right here. Okay. And then you talk to the people. And what I'll do really quick All right. is I'll show you. Frank, I have some friends who want to tell you happy birthday. And the, the first one, you might know her, but Kat's going to talk while I get her because i got to go get her. She takes a second because she's a diva. That's you know what right. I mean? And what I can do is just kind of say hi to everybody that's in the room. And, uh, well, not everybody, because there's a lot of us here. So let me just get back over to Facebook. Um, Sharon Amoroso said, you were wonderful, Seth. Um, a lot of hearts up here, so you're very loved. Hey, Susan Hirsch, and Lynn Sheridan, Susan Klonofsky. It's good to have everybody here. I'm super excited to be here, too. Um, and then after this, Todd will join us back up here, and we'll tell you about things that are going on. Angela Pritchett's here. So happy to have everybody here. It's so great. Um, we have a lot of people. And there we go. Hey, Judith IDK. She said that uh, she that song made her want to cry. And also, uh, Patty Hughes, they said they played that song at her brother's funeral, and so it always makes her feel sentimental. Yeah, so, uh, okay, are you ready? I'm ready for you. They're ready for you. Come on up here. Okay, I'm going to introduce you. There is this actress out there, and um, Frank, I know you're going to know who it is. I'm going to go, I'm blocking Frank right now. I, I know you're going to know who this is. She's, um, she's very hot right now. She's uh, got this series called The White Lotus. If any of you binge watch series like we all learned how to do during COVID. Uh, Jennifer yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to one of my favorites, Miss Jennifer Coolidge. Gosh. <laughs> Hello. How is everyone doing out there tonight? You know, Frank, they asked me to come and and do a tribute to you. 
but I said, who's Frank? And then I realized he was that gay man that had a fun time with me on Fire Island, yeah. We split a hot dog, do you remember that? Do you? I do. I, I Well, yeah, because you're very high and you're very gay, you know? And uh, I just wanted to tell you happy birthday. And uh, you look like the 4th of July, but I really love you. <laughs> yeah, we were going to get Barbara Streisand to come tonight, but she said we couldn't pay her enough. <laughs> so anyway, we got this next diva. So anyway, I'll introduce it to you. It's Liza. Okay, let's do Liza. Okay. Frank, hello, how are you, darling? <laughs> Listen, Frank, can I call you Francis? I'm gonna call you Francis, where are you? Francis, I wanna be intimate with you for a second. Where are you, Francis? Are you here? Oh, God. Francis, I love you, look at you, you're terrific. You look, like a sp you look like one of those munchkins, you know what I mean? Because they were so cute, they were so fabulous. And certainly, Francis, listen to me. I have to tell you something really special tonight that I did for you. I, I, I got the technology of AI, that's artificial intelligence, Francis. And, and I got them to reproduce Mama. Do you remember Mama, Judy Garland? <laughs> Yeah, well, I got them to reproduce yeah, Mama. And here Mama comes. She's going to sing you happy birthday. It's Mama, everybody. Judy Garland. <laughs> Hello, Francis. Are you there? <laughs> Fra where? Has anyone seen Francis? I don't know. Liza and I have the same hair. It's just a little bit messier. You know what I mean? Is, uh, is, is, is that my camera? Is that my camera, Todd? Oh, thank you, darling. Well, that's marvelous. Well, I simply must say, Frank, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Has anyone seen Lorna or Joe or any of the other kids? No? Oh, no. Happy birthday, dear Francis. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Francis. You're marvelous. <laughs> and now we'll go on with the show. That was Seth. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. That's not... Enough of that chatter. Now we're back with the show and I have to fix my wig. Thank you. My wig. That was awesome. Oh, thank you, that darling. Was that was awesome. But I was going to do Jaja, but I always do her. But anyway, I'll tell you, Francis, but I love you. You remind me of the prince. Just send me the diamonds and I'll marry you. That's right. Oh. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled programming. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I've never seen you do Liza or, or uh, Judy with a wig. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, no. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I call that a wig. I kind of tossed it on last <laughs> Todd Fisher, you come back up here and join us. Oh I got to reset the cameras. No, we're okay. We're we're done. We we just really We're done with Seth's shenanigans. Yeah, we are. And we're just we want we're going to give stuff away tonight. And also, um, we want to tell you, well, there is an auction. So you're, you and Ryan know more there about is. that than, than we do. Well, they're sort of making sure my actual hair <laughs> looks all right. You know, I like you with your hair zhuzhed up because the, you have a little Elvis thing going on. Well, yeah. well, 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 I can do a little Elvis too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, the auction. So right. uh, we have the auction going this weekend from the Debbie Reynolds Studio Store, which... Um, the Hollywood Studio. The Debbie yeah. Reynolds Hollywood yes. Studio Store. Is that right, Ryan? Is, is that... I think that is right. That is correct. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we have, a really, we have some really great items coming that have been unearthed from the uh, Smithsonian of the <laughs> Fisher Archives. <laughs> and one is this dress. This was Debbie's dress, and she wore this in an ad, which you'll see on the page is posted with it, um, that she and um, a certain uh, other gentleman, who we will not name, was on the ad together. And uh, they, uh, it was for moisture drops is what it was called. Oh, yes. It was, so anyway, they were paying her to do this ad campaign, and she did it in this dress. So it's available to bid right now. I don't think that the, the dress is store. within camera range, but if you want to see it. Oh, I'll... It? Uh, just bring it in closer and I'll okay. include it. Okay. Um, it is I'll on the, the studio Hollywood Studio Store page. Oh, there we go. And if you don't belong to the page Isn't and you'd like to, then you just, uh, you know, uh, ask to join yeah. and Ryan will uh, sort that out. And then there's, so that dress is one she wore in the ad, you're saying? 
Th this is what she. Oh, I'll talk into your. I think mine is. Oh, on. okay. But this is what she. Your wore. mic is on. Oh, it's on. They can just hear me. And oh, that's. Perfect. I turned oh. off the speakers in the house. Oh, I love oh, okay. That. Okay, perfect. So I mean, anyway, when this we're not her... singing. We don't need stage. No, I, agree. I know that's a hard thing for you to comprehend. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I don't want to hear any more Seth. I have too much Seth. No, no. I mean, it's like. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. But, um, but anyway, so this was Debbie. She wore this in the ad, and uh, it's a beautiful burgundy dress, and it's really pretty. And so that's up for auction right now at the Hollywood Studio <laughs> Store. And then the, um, we're having a claim sale on Sunday. So we're having... Uh, and he thinks you're very funny. What, uh -oh. oh, what is he laughing at? I don't know what he's laughing at. <laughs> I, I hear laughing, but I'm not sure, and I see laughing. It's me, because I said that's my dress. Oh, this is your, oh, well, <laughs> honey, it's, it's, it's ready to get, go, to get sold. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he already, to, to the highest bidder. But, and then we'll have a claim sale at the Debbie Reynolds Hollywood Studio Store on Sunday, and I think that's at um, 12 o'clock our time and 3 o'clock uh, Eastern, your time frame. Yes. So that'll be Sunday, and we have a lot of fun new items coming up that we have unearthed for you all, so. Head over there to at Debbie Reynolds Hollywood Studio Store. I had to go and block somebody really quick because she was really out there. Really? Yeah. So I uh, I just went that and blocked her. That could have been her. fun, you know. <laughs> oh, you should have let me. Oh, reality I, you TV. Should've, you you should have let You're me. You're welcome. Know. I I didn't see it till right now, and I was like, oh boy, we we got to do something about that. This is the fun space. <laughs> this is the love space, the fun space. So anytime so, hey, someone Frank, starts that, you, you have to stop it. You obviously watched Turner a lot, right? Turner Classic movies? Frank? I do all the time. So, yeah. so have you been watching that Julian auction ad that's on <laughs> way too much? I bid today. I lost oh. your mom's outfit from whatever. How could that uh, be? I didn't bid against you, so <laughs> we're the only two. No. <laughs> the no someone, else, someone else bid. Okay. Crazy. Like how high? And it went for 5500 before buyer's premium. That is very high. But that, that shows you what I've been talking about since this began, that you know this stuff is a very good investment. I mean, you think about some of the dresses that you've bought, Frank, even, you know, for a few hundred dollars that are now you know, you know. And there's also the, the, the other problem is between Frank and I, there's no Debbie stuff on the market. So... <laughs> <laughs> so we've created this well, the shortage. I and I love everything. And so never, I won't part with it until I'm gone. Well, here's the deal. You've been paying attention to that and then auction. I'm just going to layer up. I'm going to layer up. I'm going to wear, wear everything before they cremate me and just take it all with me. <laughs> I have a, my first car was my GMC motorhome, and I always used to tease. I'm going to just dig a big hole, put me and all my stuff in the motorhome, and just push the motorhome into a giant hole, like the pharaohs. And Buck seems to think yes. I'm going to put him in there with me. So, But the way he chews tobacco, I doubt he'll outlive me. So anyway, my point of bringing up that story was that the, the Turner Classic movie thing, one of the featured items there was my sister's uh, Re Return of the Jedi outfit. And I just wanted you to yeah. feel, feel better, Frank, that we got that item. So we picked it up. Oh, that's awesome. So we're going to add that to so our... Happy. Yeah. That's one more thing that we can get buried with. <laughs> I am so happy. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah. Wait. Have that, it's you. Thank you. Well, I, I felt like, you know, it needed to be part of our collection because I have a painting. Oh, my God. I have a that's painting so of Carrie in that little outfit. In fact, I have, I have her right here. Behind me. Let me bring her out here. Come here, Carrie. <laughs> what are you, where are you going? Oh, you that's going? the outfit. Yeah, so There's, that's... Let me go to the two shot there here. There we go. All right. So this is what we got. We got that. Yep. I know. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'll tell you, when, when we were shooting, I wasn't there for everything, but I was there enough to have Carrie complain about how this part of the outfit, these, are, they're made of fiberglass. And yeah. it's so, and they wouldn't let her put on a bra, of course, because everything shows around the side. So imagine fiberglass rubbing against your nipples. Oh I mean, that has got to be unreal, uh, even, for, even for a guy. So uh, she was like, this, we got to do something. So they actually duct taped some cotton in there, you know, to keep the fiberglass from irritating her 
her breasts, nipples. I just thought everybody should know that. Well, that I, way they can sleep I'm, more soundly tonight. I, I love stuff like that. Yeah. But the point is that we have that costume back, uh, and it'll go in our little museum here. And when you guys come and visit, so exciting. So when I come out there, it'll be there. You'll be able to pull, you'll be able to try that when, on, Frank, because you probably item, fit into it by then. <laughs> that's right. When that item came up for auction, it was on the stage, you know, right next to the. Um, Auctioneer. auctioneer and yes. and I heard Todd on the phone and I saw the bidding and I didn't realize that he was bidding on it and I said are you bidding on this because I just walked in for a second and he's like yes and it was getting to a fevered pitch and then all of a sudden the auctioneer bam and sold and I turned to Todd and I said was that you and he said yes so we're but then we're, she says I think I'm in shock. I was in shock because I didn't know you were bidding on it. But what I love about about having it is, you know, because we hope to have a museum one day, you know, like we, we have a little I one. I think you kind of have a museum. No, I know, but we want to have one for the public because that's, people want to see it, you know, so we, because we have a lot of things still. And so right now, if anybody's in Las Vegas, I don't, I know a lot of you know, but we, we um, downtown right now at City Hall, when you walk in this glorious, beautiful lobby, there is a, a what would you call it? An exhibition? An exhibit? I call it like a pop up. I call it a pop up museum. A pop yeah. up museum of Debbie's Las Vegas career. And it is so awesome and it's free and it's wonderful. So if you come to Vegas before the end of October, October 26, it ends. I mean, it's just really very cool. The, and the purpose it, of the museum, the reason yeah. why we did this is because it, it's, it's like the idea that there isn't a museum in Vegas is kind of ironic anyway. But we're, tr we're pushing very hard on the governor and on the state, you know, to get on board with doing a museum in conjunction with privateers like myself uh, and the Neon Museum. Uh, and if you get it all together, uh, you know, and even, even Frank, you know, like there's just stuff that we all have and you pool that all together I mean, we should definitely have a Jane. Everything. Yeah, and we borrow some Jane Mansfield stuff, and and you know. I would love to participate. Yes. Yeah, it's you see, fun. That yeah. was my. You see what he just said. I, hold, I have so much stuff. I not only have, you know, of course, Debbie is actually completely taken over my Jane collection. <laughs> and, and rightly so. <laughs> and um, but I have Elizabeth Taylor items and Whitney. Anna Nicole Smith, from when I knew them. I have, you know, clothing. I have everything. I have tons of celebrity. I have, like, James Dean's high school uh, gym uniform. But, you know, my point is that people like us, Frank, you know, I mean, we obviously have our favorite things that maybe we keep around us, but there's, a, I mean, part of what's in me is to share it and see other people enjoy it. And so loaning it, to an exhibition for you know a year at a whack or whatever the case may be, you know is really fun too. It's fun for the collector too to see his stuff. Like when you went to the academy with me, Cat, you know, didn't you really get jazzed when you saw my lenses next to? Yeah, Spielberg? because the the <laughs> academy know. museum is in Los Angeles. And everything that's in there just about is borrowed from collectors like us and yeah. like Frank and you know other people that have things. So. You know, people, our lenses were in there, and that was the uh, Orson Welles uh, lens. Citizen Kane. From Citizen Kane. And now that we have that back, right? Right. And now Godfather. we have the Godfather lenses there. And, and so, you know, people that collect want the public to see their things because that's what it's about. It's not about hoarding it in your house. It's about being able to let people see something that they might have grown up watching or, you know, that they really admired a certain actor, actress. You know, we have fun museums in Las Vegas. The Titanic Museum is amazing here. I still want to go. I it's seen. fantastic. And then we have Bodies the Exhibition, and we have the Princess Diana uh, Exhibition here. And we... and the but mobsters. We have the Mob Museum here. But, you know, to have... And we have the Hollywood, the Wax Museum, Madame Tussauds. We have that here, and that's a really fun I'm museum. Such, I'm such a nerd that the first thing that I wanted to see when I went to Las Vegas, did I, we just lose them? No. <laughs> no, we're here. Okay. 
the very first thing that i wanted to see the first time i went to las vegas was the liberace museum oh, yeah holy actually liberace. it was pretty cool and, and there was debbie stuff it there was in this, it was in that strip mall and well and we like, had lo debbie know, had loaned him stuff on the strip well the coolest thing you know, his house has been fully restored. It was bought by oh, it's beautiful. it was bought bought by a uh, a really a philanthropist, collector. yeah, and a collector. And he restored Liberace's house to its utter glory. And so, you know, people, I think you can rent it for events and things like. That. It's really yes. co it's cool, and all of his cool. things are there. And but we need to have a Hollywood museum in Las Vegas. We and so well, not just Hollywood. I mean, the no, but but show, it, it, but show the, business. Well, yeah, what we want to do, what we want to do here in Vegas is to have the history of Vegas and how it interconnected with Hollywood, and do all the Vegas movies that were shot here as well. Uh, I have a poster and collection have of Seth performed all the characters. <laughs> oh, well, Madonna, well, who should I do next? Well, you know, really well. You I you love to. <laughs> Yeah, Hepburn's the only one that never came to Vegas. <laughs> but my mother, you know, was the only collector I ever knew who never put any of the stuff in her house. No, I never. I mean, even growing up with Carrie and the, I when the, we were young. She had the slipper, red ruby slippers. Way that. later. Like, yeah. that was way after Vegas and everything. She yeah. was like, screw it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these in But my that's house. all she had in there. Right, but, uh, you know, at the time. Over the fireplace. Since the 70s, where we, when we started with maybe... A thousand costumes, and then over the years it went up to three thousand. There was never one costume on display in our house, never one movie poster. Later, she put up the Singing in the Rain poster, like okay, but it was it was very interesting because you know I I don't see, I guess if I had the museum that we all dream of, uh, I would be far less prone to care about having one here in my house. But in lieu of that, you know, I do feel kind of connected to it, you know, and uh, when Frank comes to stay with us, he's going to stay in my mom's uh, bungalow, which, yes. which has become like the best of her stuff. You know, like, it, like, I don't mean movie stuff. I mean, it's the best of her personal life. Uh, all, like, the, like Seth found some photos the other day of the Greenway House furniture that's migrated its way, you know, into there. And, yeah. and uh, there's, you know, the famous cloud painting of my mother, uh, by uh, Ralph Conant, you know, uh, that's in there over the same couch. I want it duplicated. <laughs> it's, it, you know, you know, I could talk to him. It is a spectacular piece. Uh, but that, you know, there's I just... Uh, it. it is the most beautiful. I think some of that is okay. I, I wanted to sort of recreate... See, I would even consider... And this see, is something you, should I, do litho, you should do lithograph. Well, no, but follow what I wanted to do. I wanted to build... When we were going to do the museum at DR Studios, I was going to build Carrie's bedroom and my oh, mother's wow. bedroom or their little, a few of their rooms, oh, wow. put their house back together, and then you could come into the living room and see my mom's world, you know, yeah. which... And, and it, was, it would have been cool having it across from Carrie because they could not get any further apart <laughs> when it comes to art Stylistic. and or collective. It was just like, you know, Carrie collected very weird stuff, comparatively speaking. My mother's into like mother's antiques, you know. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But just 100%, 180 degrees diverse. But your mom's little world in there is so magical. I mean, it's just, I, I loved what Carrie called it in her book, Wishful Drinking, The Church of Latter-day Debbie. Is what she called your mom's sitting area. <laughs> yes. Which I loved. And, and you know why she did that? It was not just because of the look. It was also because my mother held court. And we all were subject when she would have sit down in her little chair in there with her little table. And she'd have her little Hearst Castle wine glass. And she'd have her wine and tell stories. And that's, that's, that's literally. And then the, the court, people would come in and sit and listen to stories and move on. <laughs> he was like, because no one could stay up as long as her. <laughs> that would be impossible. <laughs> well, uh, I... You know what? Like, just listening to her was the most incredible thing. And I, I was lucky enough to have one of those great phone conversations with her about... It started out with collecting, and then it just went in every direction. And I talked to her for two and a half hours on the telephone. And it was the best two and a half hours of my life. Aww. Aww. There you go. It really was. Normally I mean, people say on, that about... One-on-one on, one on one with Debbie, Debbie Reynolds. Normally that line oh, is reserved for a sexual exploit. 
Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two, there's two things that I want to bring up because yeah, I went right past Kathy. Yeah, well, because I was reading comments. <laughs> did you hear and what people, I said? No. What did you say? He said it was. Would you repeat it for Kat? She's okay. got to catch up. We're gonna roll it back now. She. He said it was the greatest night of my life, and I said normally that's sort of, you know, that that sort of enthusiasm and those words are more for a sexual exploit. Yes. Yes. It went over my head. Yes, I saw that. Okay, but people are talking. sound effect. Is people better. are talking uh, about something that I I want to bring up real quick because um, it is in the news and it is weird and it's and it's I don't I it nobody feels good about it, um, and that's the fact that the people that bought Marilyn Monroe's house six years ago um, want to have it demolished, oh, and. Wow. Well, I can give you an update about that. Okay. I got involved. Yeah. I called Stacy Clark, the Los Angeles uh, County uh, supervisor, she's the one who issues the permits for demolition. And I told her that the house cannot, under any circumstance, be destroyed. And I volunteered to give them the money to physically move the house if they were going to tear it down i was going to volunteer however many millions it was going to cost to actually pick the whole entire house up and move it somewhere well you know wow. well you can you could cut it up you don't you know, and then put it back together I mean, you don't yeah. need to move it as one thing. I mean, you know, it's not like a log cabin or something. I mean, you know, you'd have to but take she, it part in pieces. She denied, she denied the demolition uh, permit oh, that's, today. Oh, and, well, that's good. And I am just concerned because it's a corporation. It's a dummy corporation that purchased it for 8.375. They just purchased it at the end of July. I am just concerned that they're going to tear it down regardless without the permit, because this is what they did with Jane Mansfield's house, the Pink Palace. Yeah, I remember that they house. Tore, they tore it down, and they just paid the fines. Right. And right. That's all it is, is it's fines. Well, right. you know. So I'm, I'm it, hoping that it won't happen. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you had a chance to read it, but if anybody goes over to Shannon Johnson's page, she wrote the most beautiful, just passionate, beautifully written piece about this and what that house meant to her and, you know, to Marilyn Monroe and, and why it should not be destroyed. And it's just really the most beautiful thing I've read in a long, long time. So if you get a chance to go to Shannon Johnson's page and read it, it's, it's, it's fantastic. But, you know, how do you feel about it, Todd? Uh, I think, you know, whatever you buy, you should be able to destroy it at will. Not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know, as you know, I was involved with Robert Noodleman and the Hollywood history people. We tried to stop the demolishing of, the, of many things, but not the least of which was the Hollywood Bowl and other buildings like that. And, you know, they didn't care. Uh, ultimately, money prevailed. And, and that's, it's just a sorry state of affairs when when you uh, destroy your history like the way that we do indiscriminately. And, you know, even here in Vegas right now, they're talking about building a baseball stadium, which is fine, but we have a lot of land here. This is not Los Angeles. They want to tear down the Tropicana to put a baseball stadium in. Lame! It On is, the strip. There is so much land in Vegas within a, a half a mile of there that would have parking and everything. And here you want to tear down, you know, the oldest hotel on the strip for what yeah. freaking purpose so i i'm you know it's in i don't know what mentality there is what are they going to do next tear down the griffith uh, park observatory i mean what exactly is the point oh my god that would be crazy. yeah but it's the kind of nonsense that that we see my mother um yeah, I know the, brown, the brown derby is gone it should still be there. my mother actually yeah, parked uh, her oh. car in front of the brown derby and tried to stop that uh, she also tied herself to that tree Did right there really? on. Yeah, she, <laughs> tried, she drove her car. There's a there was there's a huge tree in this Beverly Hills Park right on Little Santa Monica and like Beverly Drive, and they were getting ready to tear the tree down because it was sick. They didn't want to go to the trouble of trying to fix it. So another drove her Rolls Royce up to the tree like right next to it and got out. 
and just sat there like this and said, you're not tearing the street down. Gonna, I will pay whatever it costs to have a doctor come and, and you know, fix this tree. It's like, you know, it's kind of like that tree oh that's in Lahaina, you know, that giant tree. In, not, it's the Beverly Hills version. Of it. It's not quite that spectacular. It's <laughs> a freaking spectacular tree. It's just a famous and, and, tree. And, and the idea that we don't care about any of our history is pathetic. And the people that allow that to happen all, you know, I hope they all get a good spot in their welcome location in the, the, <laughs> the depths of the, uh, of the bowels of purgatory. No. I, I was trying to say it nicely, but it's disgusting. Yeah, so, but I'm from Jersey. I can say it. Well, you know, I haven't been on the show for a while, so I'm not, I was trying not there. to. Well, Kat's always upset when I drop the F-bomb. Yes. So no, it's a family show. Well, but it's a family tradition, I should say, in return. <laughs> okay, well, I, there's, so b before we give stuff away and say goodnight to everybody, because I just really want to say that um, we were just talking, I want to circle back to the uh, uh, museum talk, because there is a show in Vegas that I think is fantastic. Fantastic. It's called Vegas the Show. You haven't seen it yet no, either. I go. Todd hasn't seen it yet. My only beef is that Debbie's character is not in it, but it's a, it's it's the history of Las Vegas and it's told through song and dance, you know, and so there's an Elvis, there's an Ann Margaret, there's, you know, it, and Liza, there's, no the, there's no Debbie, yeah. But well, I, I think I'm going to have to go audition and change <laughs> this. I don't care if I have to play the role myself. <laughs> exactly. If I do say so myself. But, if I do say so myself. But That's the show is really good, and, um, it, you know, everybody in it is so talented, and it's so fun to see you know, that kind of thing. So that show, Donny Osmond, there's so many great oh, shows yeah. that really represent Las Vegas out there right now. And um, again, if you are in town or coming to town, please go down to City Hall. It's free. Go see the Debbie Reynolds exhibit because it is so really awesome. It's beautiful. And then there's a couple of things that I wanted to say. First of all, Kathy Hobbs, who has been with our show since the very beginning. You know you know how you love your cat, right, Todd? You love your cat. And her cat, Casper, who You're I know. You're talking about you? You mean you, right? N not, yeah, besides me. The other cat, There are Callie. no other cats but you. <laughs> <laughs> and our feral cat is getting good and fattened up outside because we've been feeding her, and she let me go. She came we'll right up to me. We'll feed anybody. Just come by. <laughs> you can sleep under the tree in the backyard. <laughs> and we'll, there, we'll bring food. And we'll bring food to you in the archive yeah, room. Yeah, I, I love that cat. The one outside is she, she let me. She came right up to me yesterday. I almost fell over because she's completely feral. But Kathy Hobbs, I just want you to know that I know you lost Casper today, oh. and that you love that cat. But and I want you to know that we're our hearts are with you. We all know, uh, most of us, we, that our pets mean more to us than a lot of people because they give us truly unconditional love, which I think only God can give. And uh, you know, and animals. That, that's, that's how I feel and about unconditional love. Point. All pets go to heaven. All pets go yes. to heaven. And then the other thing that I wanted to say, Julianne Golden's birthday, I think it's like tomorrow. Oh, um, no, I think she's the same day as me. We're birthday On twins, Monday. Okay, well, we're going to go on live before we go out to dinner because it's Seth's we'll birthday. We'll go live at dinner. Yeah, we'll go. Why not? I'm, all, <laughs> I'm we'll always live. on. So, Julie, we'll <laughs> celebrate your birthday that night, too. And I, I think that I caught up on everything. I was trying to keep up with everybody that, that is on there. And as far as, and I just want to make one thing clear because I had to block uh, Lori Gamble because she, um, because she, you know, got a little um, out there. And, I, and I'm just going to acknowledge it because there's a couple of things about it that I want to say. One, everybody thank you for being so respectful. You, you did really great. I didn't see it until... Late, later in the show because I didn't have a chance to look at my phone. And when I did, I blocked her only because I needed that talk to stop. And, you know, because we're here doing a show, uh, I will deal with that um, later, meaning, you know, have a conversation about that. But um, I, I'm not angry. You all were just really uh, incredible and respectful, and I want to thank you for that because that's what we're all about. Was she saying something bad about me? No, she wasn't saying anything <laughs> bad about you. She was talking about our boy Seth, and, and oh, you know. Oh, oh, did she? Oh, I think she thought I was a. Oh. I yes. think she, Frank. I think she thought I was a hooker. <laughs> no, 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 no. But anyway, oh, let me. I. Knows you're a hooker. <laughs> 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 but what I just wanted to say is, you know, because. Oh. 
Goodness. I, that kind of talk really upsets me, and here's what, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset, you know, I'm fine, but the reason I don't like it and wanted it to stop is because it does not represent to me what Christianity is about, and because I am a Christian, and we pray on this show, and, and we pray with absolute humbleness and earnest, you know, we're earnest about it, we believe we are Christians, but we don't do things like that, and, you know, so it just, you know, walk in love, and thank you all for being so completely respectful. So from so, you guys perspective, yeah, my yeah, perspective, you know, clearly there was actually full acceptance, right? And then some. But fact, I think maybe even a preference, <laughs> yeah, but I, I agree. I've been a Christian 40 something years, and you know, I find no place. For judging anybody, right? And that my one of my favorite little uh, verses to reflect on when people get that way is, "Judge not, lest ye be judged." And yeah. so, uh, I'd rather stay out of the judgment business. Let somebody pure take care of that. Yes. Yeah, so, so, and there, good luck there. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, there's any of us around here. That he, he was on the cross a couple thousand years ago. <laughs> but this is the point that none of us are perfect, and therefore. And it's not really about that either. It's just like, you know, these, these, uh, I, I, bought, when I told you the story about Debbie Boone when she was doing You Light Up My Life, had the big record hit. Yep. And there were all these, I went to her, and she was at the Hollywood Bowl. We were just talking about the Hollywood right. I went to the Hollywood Bowl and I was walking up and there were these Christians were all out there with picket signs because she had done a legs commercial. Oh, for the nylons. pantyhose, yeah. And, and I walked <laughs> up to them, I was like, what are you guys picketing about? And they're like, well, you know, she showed her legs and she doors. I said, you know, my mother, it was Debbie Reynolds, and they threw her out of the Nazarene church for doing singing in the rain and showing her legs and all of that. I said, then they, the, the, the difference between them and you is they realized how lame that was years later. <laughs> you know? But you're out here 50 years later carrying on this grand tradition of stupidity and judging people for no good reason. Don't you have anything better to be doing? I mean, isn't there a really good cause out here? We had homeless back then in L.A., much worse than now. But, I mean, there's just something to be... There's plenty of other things to be focused on than judging your neighbor, you know, unless he's an axe murderer. Yeah, then go ahead uh, well, here's this my final thing I want to say about that. And the reason I'm even bothered going back to this is because there's a lot of people out there right now who might be on the fence about, you know, they, they might be looking, they might be searching, they might be thinking, you know, I really need something in my life. And maybe that something is for me to be looking at God. Maybe that something is for me to change the way I think, the way I feel, the way I'm wired, the way... You know, I need to change something because my life is not working and it's a mess. And if they're on the fence and then they see a person talking like that, that turns them off so badly, that is, for me, like anti-Christian because it is not the way that you want to represent the Lord. So that's, that's why I even bothered talking about it. Because if you are out there and that was you, you know, saying, well, I don't want to be on that team. <laughs> you know, well, I have a good piece so of advice. I, Never look at another person and think that somehow is representative of God. I mean, sooner or later, that person will let you down no matter how great they seem. You know, I don't care if they're the Pope or otherwise. Yeah. They are going to be imperfect. Right. You know, that's what's so great about pure Christianity is it's a very personal, private thing that a person can have this private relationship with their creator quietly in their heart and in their mind. And uh, you don't need, to, if you look around you, you're going to be disappointed. If you yeah. look around you, you're going to be let down by the way other people act and behave. Um, that's what's great about it. And you could take that wherever you go. It's not like you can only get it at Sunday church or something. I know the Catholic played that card for a long time, but <laughs> you know that. <laughs> swing either so that's what's great about it yeah it is and you know we were watching we we were watching a, a t video last night it was on tiktok and it was alice cooper who has been a christian for 45 50 years and not quiet about he used it to go to the hiding place i know he went to our church and you know he had there he was on tiktok on a video last night and i said wow look at this this is great and he was talking about everything and and you know his his thoughts and and he was so it was eloquent and it was also just simple and I happen to really like Alice Cooper and um, somebody was thrashing him right? and and the the comments were just thrashing him and judging him and I said 
oh my gosh, no, this is not what people need to be doing right now. They need to be holding him up and saying, thank you. And some people did, you know, saying, thank you for speaking out because it's not popular right now in Hollywood to be a Christian. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just not to talk about it. So, you know, the, the, the damages that, that can be done by this is what I I think you have to be a homeless about. Christian to be popular <laughs> in California. Well, there you go. Not in New Jersey, just yeah. California. So on that note, um, you know, I want to give stuff away right quick. And then I want to say uh, thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. And Frank, how great it was to be able to celebrate you tonight and that you couldn't be here. And, and yes. And we're so glad that you got dressed up for the occasion because... <laughs> I wore my best it's black very... t-shirt in your honor and you came out in the tank top next time I'm wearing my tank top you know what is so I funny so. <laughs> <laughs> well we love you Frank and thank you so much for Wait, being with us we love you when you're asleep That's yeah when you're sleeping <laughs> that's right yeah, well, that, by the way, we do. just so you know where that comes from, that was what my grandfather used to say to my mother, and then my mother started saying to Carrie and I. She would very sincerely say, I love you, dear, when you're asleep. <laughs> well, you know, what, what, what I was thinking is for the giveaways tonight, what, because I will be happy to donate the, the money that it would have cost to do this, oh. uh, we have those postcards. The, um, it's a new car. It's a new car. Oh, we from do the have museum, the postcards. From the museum. Where are they? They're in my office. They, are they still in your office? Yeah. Or they go upstairs. No. I, I, did you take the bag upstairs? I think I took them upstairs. Oh, dang it. Okay. So they're, 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 uh, but I can go. Do you the want yeah, to Yes. Have. With that, the people can buy those and the money from those is going to the, the Neon Museum. Yeah, well, that's great because what they're, you know, the Debbie Reynolds Hotel, uh, they have, you know, the Neon Museum, if you've never been there, is all the, it's like the graveyard for it's all awesome. of, it's it. incredible, all of the, the marquees and the signs from all the hotels that were, have been imploded, all the really amazing, famous hotels. Debbie Reynolds Hotel is also in there. But it's one of the few that, you know, the lights need to be redone on it. And it's very, it's quite expensive to do this. So, oh my God. yeah, so one of the things that they want to do is restore that. And so they're selling the postcards um, and that money yeah, will go to, that'll go to the Neon Museum, the money from the, all that. Well, it's on their website right now. It is? That's, the, they told us it would be on their, the Neon Museum. Yeah. Right. I was going to pull it up. They said it was on their. Well, I'm like I'm talking above to yeah, you, Ryan, like you're in the sky. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> I'm like I'm like hello. Uh, no, they said Ryan that. Ryan is God. <laughs> no. Oh my he God. He just well, sounds well, like that. Well, he's certainly an angel, but you know. Um, yes, he is. So uh, when he's asleep. When he's asleep. So they said that it was going to be on their website at the Neon Museum. Uh, dot com. Yeah, and and then we're gonna have to them purchase. available too. Now, but one other important point is that the postcards, there are, there are, was there 200 or 100 that were numbered limited editions? There's 100 limited oh, editions. Wow. And those are going to be signed by me, but also they're going to have the estate sticker with them. Yes. And then, then they're going to have like another couple of hundred that are not numbered and or signed. So there'll be sort of the, cl the higher Facebook. grade. And of course, that, that's, I don't know, what was the price? Do you remember they were like $40? $25. 20, for, the sign, for the numbered one? Uh, oh, no, fi for the numbered one, they were $50, $50. And for the ones that weren't numbered, I think it was 25 Yes, because those would be signed by him. Just for Todd's <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> okay, and then I'm when just going to give uh, the, one the signature, more. The, the deal is about these cards, important point, is some of these pictures, oh. uh, some of the pictures were actually taken by me as well. Like oh. the one of her in the red tux was taken by me. Oh, on the stairs? Uh, yeah. Oh. Really? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to make one more quick announcement before we give stuff away, and I wish we had those postcards. Ryan, can you at least show it on... Um I'm well, trying to find it. I don't know. Well, you know, you, you, guys, keep, you guys we'll keep, keep going, talking, and I'll go get them. Okay, great. So he'll go get them. And in the meantime, um, I want to welcome. He's got his high. <laughs> 
He's got his high heels on for crying out loud. He goes running out of I here. I want to welcome Brian Chrysagis tonight. Tonight, He is um, my friend. It, I, I know that you know I've talked about Brian and Sean, the Chrysagis brothers, because they're, they're identical twins, and Sean recently passed away. It's only been a few months. And uh, they, they had an incredible ministry, just incredible. You know, and so Brian's been suffering through some depression, and to say the least. And it's new to him because they were a very happy, um, you know, couple of people. That's been bugging me. Just what are you going to do? I'm just going to shove this microphone. I've back. tried, but I couldn't. Oh, I thought he was going to kiss you. Thank that too. You. That's better. Oh, no, uh, I like but her that microphone. Part. Her I like microphone that is is was like in front of your mouth. <laughs> I know. It doesn't I, need to be. I couldn't get it back there. But anyway, Brian. I couldn't be, I couldn't be near you, Kat, without giving you a kiss. Yes. Um, I love kisses and hugs. No, I don't allow everybody That's to right. slobber all over her. But Frank, you could give her yeah, a kiss. Yeah, but yeah, but you would allow me. I would for sure. Okay, give me that, and I'll show okay, it to you so, over here. Okay, so so wait a minute. Let There's me, no let, threat there. Let me There's let no. me uh, finish my thought. And before we go to that, okay, we'll go to that first, then I'll finish my thought. There's this the is what card. we're giving away. Take it out of the thing. Right. Tonight we're going to give away eight of these. They are, so if you win, if we announce your name. Now are you going to do the non-signed ones? Because I haven't made the not signed one yet. So these are the non-limited editions. But if you want Todd to sign it, will well, you sign you'd have it? To, you'd, have to, you'd have to ask very nicely. <laughs> Okay, so there's picture number one. Oh, Let me okay. see if I get this. Yeah, and I, I will pay for these for, because I, for the museum, so, so I will donate now, the money. Now, one of the things that's unique about these pictures is you notice the shadow over here. They each have a shadow, and that was sort of about the persona of my mom. So every picture has a shadow. And that's, uh, let me try to keep the image sharp. Oh. These are the Molly Brown dresses, obviously. Oops. Yeah. These dress now all of these costumes, by the way, they're all on display. These are the one. There's Carrie's costume, the Bob Mackie. And then there's the red. Tux. I love the shadows. Once again, the the shadow, and and oop, and you notice, you know, that's the that's the same tux that she's wearing in this photograph. If we can get that back and show you. But anyway, the, what, how many are in there? Ten? I don't know. I think it's all the pieces that are And it, it ends uh, with the, the South Point gold dress, which you've all seen on this stage many times. And uh, it's the only one that doesn't have a shadow. Ooh, no, it does. I'm kidding. All right, so I, those are, we're going to call out eight names in a moment. Oh, and then it's got her little signature yeah, on Yeah, and you will, so if you win, if you are one of the wieners, as we say, then you will go ahead and, and PM me right here on the Facebook page that you're on. And then, because um, I'll need, if I don't have your address, I'll need your address to send those. And I'll donate the money that this would have cost so that the Neon Museum gets the donation. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do that in a minute, Ryan. So if you want to get the randomizer going and pick the, let it pick the eight people uh, that's going, that are going to get those. And I just want to say, Brian Chrysagis, thank you so much for coming tonight. I know you're here. Some Tammy Anastasia just told me. And I want to talk about our event for just a minute because um, I was talking about you and Sean. Um, your beautiful brother, and I know you're going through so, a really, really, really hard time right now, and I love that you're transparent about it and you talk about it on your page because depression is no joke, and when you have a shocking event that happens to you, you could not have suffered a day of depression in your life, but that changes your brain chemistry, or it can, and so there's nothing wrong with you. This is a, a, something that happens to the brain where you have a shocking event, and it alters your chemistry um, and in your brain. So, um, you know, you're going through something that is really rough and um, you're entitled to it and no judgments here. Uh, we love you and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the event. I can't wait, actually. And we're... The and the information is on the screen. The event information is on the screen. Thank you, Ryan. So we're going to be doing a, a Christmas with the Stars, um, and I'm going to be there. It's in Wheeling, West Virginia, uh, which is, I think, somewhere near, you know, I'm landing in Pittsburgh, so it's, 
uh, Wheeling, West Virginia. I'm not geographically sure where it is, but it's at the Capitol Theater. And the doors are opening at 5, and the, the um, event starts at 6. And uh, it's really, you know, we're honoring Sean Chris Hodges, and Brian, of course, is putting this on. Usually he and Sean did this together, so I know it, it's all very overwhelming. And, and yet, you know, we're going to go, and we're going to have a great time, and we are going to entertain the heckles out of everybody that comes. It's me, Eric Estrada, uh, Jack Scalia, Stephanie Powers, Lorenzo Lamas, Rob Mays, and country music star John Barry, and Max Winfrey, uh, who was on America's Got Talent. And I just have to say that we are going to have a great time. So if you want to check that and out. Lonnie Anderson. No, Lonnie, I'm taking Lonnie Anderson's place because she wasn't able to make it. So I, uh, so they asked me to take Frank, her place. she's coming to your house instead. Yeah. And I, I, lo I, no, I love her. <laughs> yeah. Well, she she's uh, really an amazing woman, and uh, and when they called to ask me if I could take her place, I'm gonna be uh, yeah. So I'll be singing that night, and I don't do that very much anymore. So I'm real excited. I'm gonna be singing that night, and so listen to it. But it's a good lineup of people. We're gonna have a ball. So please check it out. And that's November 11th. And then, of course, I'll be at Chiller Theater in um, Septem September. Uh, no, end of, end, of, uh, end of October. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Octo end of October, we're at, Ryan and I will be at Chiller, which is in Parsippany, New Jersey. You can find that information on my Facebook page. And then November 11th is the concert of, with the stars at the Capitol Theater in Wheeling, West Virginia. So we're looking forward to that. Now let's give these eight things away, and then if we could, I'd love to close the show with a prayer tonight. Would that be okay? Knock yourself out. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ryan, we need the eight wieners of the... Hold on, it wants, it's full of ads here. So okay. Here we go. All right, so here they are, the people that are winning the... Don't forget, you have to text, you have to private message right me. So we Gina. have Gina Bashelli. Gina Bashelli, Bish you are a, you won a set of postcards. The next winner is this is fun. Maxine Moody, you are a winner. Okay, so those I have both. I have uh, Max. I'll do that right here. Now. There you go. Uh, yeah, uh, I, Norma Dusing. Norma right. Dusing. So it's Maxine Moody, Norma Dusing, and Gina Baselli. And it's going through. I love it. It has everybody's name that's in the room. Uh, 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 Norma Dusing was the last. Cassandra, Cassandra Carroll. Carroll. Cassandra Carroll, you are a winner. Wait, let's go back and I make sure you have all the he names. He does. Oh, I do. He has do. them all. Uh, I'm used to doing this in the show every night, so I'm, I'm good with remembering names now. Ron Hibbs. Ron, Ron Hibbs. Finally, a guy. Who just, wins you know what? And, and Ron just had a birthday, so oh, yes, he sure did. And then the next one is, um, the next one is Patricia Pretty Duff. Up. Patricia Duff, fantastic. And then I don't know. Let's count. <laughs> Six. We need two more, Ryan. Okay, here's one. And we have Mina Hansen. Mina Hansen. Fantastic. Last one. Last one is I love this randomizer. Late. <laughs> Latest styles, oh, latest, latest styles. So there you go, the eight winners. I'm just so happy for all of you. Make sure you uh, private message me because uh, some of you I don't have your address and I'm going to need to do that. And so uh, if I could just close this night out with a prayer, it would be so great, right? Just be, do that because A, uh, we all need it. <laughs> and I, I want it, so here we Why go. Not? All right, Lord God, it. thank you so much for this amazing celebration of a life and, you know, for us all to be together again, which is just the best, and Todd to be back because that 
I have missed, and and uh, so of all of our peeps and Frank. And I just want to lift up everybody in the room uh, to, that needs prayer, that needs you know to feel a little hope and a little faith right now, and just I just lift them up to you, Lord, and ask that you you know, bless them, bless their finances, bless their health, bless their grief, bless everything that, you know, is uh, keeping them from knowing their joy and, and, and your joy, most of all. And um, I just thank you for Frank's continued um, health, because that's what we're believing for, that Frank's health, we lift that up to you, and that uh, all the fears that go along with that, we ask that they just be banished to the darkest corners of the earth, and we thank you that that is already done, that all the fear that anybody feels is lessened in your name. We just thank you so much for the fellowshipping tonight and um, that uh, people know that you're always there and that with you all things are possible. So thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you so much. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen thank you so much, everybody. We just love you. And um, I'll straighten everything out with Lori, you know, and get get to the bottom of that. And um, oh, it'll I'll be fine. Eight by 10. <laughs> That's right. I think you should do a lap dance for it. <laughs> You know, this is the show. Give the, <laughs> this is the show, isn't it? It just really is. Well, it's Vegas. You have to give them a little. I we we do. We give a lot. So we're we are uh, just saying. Don't you I'm, know? I'm, you know, Carrie used to do used to say that the uh, autograph shows were celebrity, celebrity lap, lap dances. dances, and you know because yeah, well, uh, because you you know you do things for cash prizes <laughs> just like a stripper. That was her concept. So without taking off your underwear, <laughs> yes. you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, we can do it all with a pen. All right. Well, we are, so everyone's saying good night. And uh, thank you so much, Richard. Keeb says amen. Everybody's saying amen. Amy Lashman. Good to oh. see you, Amy. I saw you in West Virginia and oh, get to goodness. meet you. Great show. Um, and West Virginia thank you. Mountain Mama. Thank Take you, everybody. Home. Have a fantastic <laughs> weekend. A really great weekend. And, and um, don't forget about the auction. Oh, and then the auction that's taking place if on the Debbie Reynolds Hollywood incredible. Studio uh, Store. Frank, you, know, <laughs> you aren't going to be able to fit into it, I'm afraid, but it, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's pretty nice. Look, that's okay, Todd. Really <laughs> fine with that. I told you, my mother. My mother said to me, she was trying to convince me to sell all of her costumes that I had possession of back with the first auctions, and I said no. Oh. And then, and then she said, "Well, I don't. Why?" I said, "I'm not sure right now." And she says, "What are you gonna? Are you gonna wear them?" I said, "Well, I'll have the option." Yeah. Oh look, Ryan. Has Ryan, it up right yeah, now. Ryan has the studio Hollywood okay, Studio Store up. page up, and um, Ryan, I I hate letting you go, boy, because I miss you yes. terribly. I love you. You know that. That's when you're okay. Ryan is missable. Yes, he is. When he's, he when is. he's asleep, we love him. He's misworthy. That's what we call him. Yes, misworthy. And we're asleep. And I know it's getting late on the East Coast, so I want to let you guys go. But thank you so much. We are so appreciative thank of you, you coming. You're welcome, Francis. And happy, 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 happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Screw Good night. The copyright. <laughs> As Linda says, sleep tight, sleep well. God is awake. Good night, everybody. Night, Francis. <laughs> okay, I'll fade We're to good. black. <laughs> Wait, let me just turn my. Make sure we're all off. We're off, yeah. Yeah.